This is the first of a series uh, called Tamarack Journeys, and this is the build of the Glenelg Gypsy. Started with the marine plywood, with uh, local sourced wood, and made the frames. Took us about a week. Then we built the frame to build the boat on. Took me about a day to do it, to get it level. And then I began laying the frames out on the framework, building the backbone of the boat. Here you can see frames stacked up and ready to go. Each one was numbered, made from full-size plans, and fit together just beautifully. Once the frames were in, we connected the stem, we built the transom, then we began to put the chine on to bend it, had to steam it to do that, had to have high quality wood to do that. I was able to use larch, which is a local wood. Figured the tree was about 300 years old that we used so we could have a fine grain that we could bend. And we began to apply the plywood to the frame. Then we turned it over to build the cockpit in the front. Cockpit overhangs over the bottom part of the uh, boat. Provides a big seating area which is used constantly when we take this boat out. You see the simplicity of the framework. Building the hull turned out to be the easiest thing to do in this process. It was easier than building the cabin and all the accoutrements. Here we've got the Cockpit all built, as you can see, an unusual bow, unusual hull as a result, and yet a lot of added room. Got the back cut out for the motor. Got the skeg on. And we're applying the last of our uh, epoxy and fiberglass. Soon we'll be painting it. A lot of sanding later, the first paint is being applied. Started out with high quality, quality uh, boat paint for the side, for the white part of it, and then high quality bottom paint for the bottom. Now the hull is complete. With the help of about 20 men, because of the weight, we were able to get it on the trailer, which had been custom adjusted for the boat. A very proud moment. And yet so much more work to be done. Our next trip would be to an enclosed shop, heated for the winter, where we would build the cabin. That's what we're in the process of doing here. First of all, we had to paint the bilge, which would be covered by a floor in the cabin built. built it on the trailer. A lot of climbing in and out. Things are beginning to take shape. Following the good plans of Glen L for the Gypsy. This is a 20-foot boat designed to be a trailer bolt houseboat. has turned out to be a pure pleasure.
everything well thought through. Very compact and yet very useful. Big seating area in the front. Very, very valuable. And lots of fun. These are the window frames. As you can see, there's lots of windows in this boat, which make it and give it its character. Little tiny helm. So I decided to use hydraulic steering provided more room for things. As you can see, she's stoutly built on the side with stout framework. The galley. It's got a little seating area with a table which turns into a bed. Working on the restroom. Finally got a door in. Actually has three doors, one in the back, one in the front, and one for the bathroom or for the restroom. You can see it there through the window. We have a chemical toilet on board, which comes in very handy. And here we've got her on the trailer on the street, ready to go to the lake. Here she's on the lake. Local little lake nearby for her, her initial journey. Here we're in the Oregon coast. Silt Coos Lake. Her first big outing. Here we're at Lions Ferry on the Snake River. And here we're at Flathead Lake with our grandchildren.